Hi, in this short little video I would like to show you one interesting bug in Commodore Basic that is or can be used in several ways. So maybe you already know this one, maybe not, but still here it is. This bug causes the listing of basic code to fail. Let me show you. If we have some simple program like this and then 20 go to 10 and let's run it works just fine let's list it here it is now let me add one more line line number one ram then hit l press return the new line is added let me run the program one more time works just fine let's try to list it oops something went wrong so i'm not really sure if this is uh, entirely microsoft fault or commodore fault or both of them uh, what i know that this bug exists on commodore basic 2.0 uh, so that you can test this on commodore wick machines and commodore 64 machines um, some folks says that this is a technique that you can use to hide the rest of the code from the viewer uh, this is not entirely true because if this is a protection then it can easily be disabled because you can see the line where the, the syntax error happened so if I just delete this line and if I do listing one more time it works so the only way possible way is to place this uh, RAM statements um, on several places inside of, the, of, of your basic code. So there are other ways to disable a listing of basic code on Commodore 64, but uh, these are mostly poke commands. So that means that you need to execute something before you try to list the code. And some of those poke commands I will try to put in the description of this video. But this is the only technique that I know that doesn't require any prior action. Once you try to execute the list a command, it fails. So it fails during the listing routine. And why? Well, let's find out together. Okay, so what do we have here is Super Monitor 64 uh, because uh, uh, we will need to take a little peek into the memory, but we will do that later now back to the basic. So what happens when we enter new line of basic code? So let's say that we have one print and then numbers one, two, three. Okay. So what happens here is every line of basic code get crunched. That means that uh, every basic command is actually uh, tokenized. It's converted into the token. So it, this print command is not stored as the print in text. It is stored as a token. This line number is converted into the hex values. Every um, pointing vectors is recalculated and um, stored into the memory. So everything is working like a clock let's check that out into the memory so if i call the super monitor okay and now let's check uh, memory at position 801 because this is where the uh, basic code is stored and here we go this is our um, one two three okay see that this is uh, space 20 this is 99, this is the token for print command. And this is our line number one um, stored as the 16-bit hexadecimal value, right? So this is it, very simple. Okay, now let's go back. Let's enter the new, new code. So what happens uh, when we enter um, RAM command? So when we use this RAM command, every, everything after this command and till the end of the line is uh, interpreted as a remarks. So that means that interpreter will skip it during the execution, but this also means that uh, during the crunching of this um, line, when we enter it into the memory, it will not be tokenized, it will be stored as it is inside the memory of Commodore Basic. Now, let's try to do that. So. One, two, three, and then uh, print 
as a command, right? Or uh, even question mark as an abbreviated print. And let's store that into the memory. Now let's check how this looks like in memory. So again, memory location 801. And okay, here we go. We can see that our one, two, three numbers are here. And then we have print command. The Commodore basic didn't do anything with it. It just stored it as it is. This is very important. Now, let's go back to basic and write a new line. This time we are going to use rem and then we are going to enter our shift L and store this into the memory. Let's go back into uh, memory monitor and then again memory at position 81. Here we go. You can see that our shift L is stored as it is inside the inside the memory. We have uh, and that is this one CC hex in hexadecimal. Then we have 20 as a space. Then we have 8F that is a RAM command and then line number one is here. Okay, everything looks good so far. Now what is happening during the listing procedure? This is where the problem happens, right? So if we try to list this, it says syntax error. What this list routine is doing is actually needs to convert every token inside the memory back to the readable basic command that uh, we humans can read. And for that, there is a lookup table where all these commands are stored. And when the listing routine founds a token, it then goes to the, this table and tries to see where this um, token is stored and which memory position. And then it grabs these um, strings and displays it on the, on the screen. So the problem lies um, on the way how the Commodore Basic recognizes the tokens inside the memory. So the tokens are recognized by the high most significant bit. So the bit number seven in the byte is high. That means that CC in, in hexadecimal, right? So if this is CC in hexadecimal. Then um, in binary, that would be, so suddenly this uh, shift L um, that we entered into the memory uh, suddenly becomes a token. It is treated as a token. What this listing routine is doing is going to this lookup table and it tries to find the CC. <laughs> um, and it cannot find it. There is no CC token. And then it prints the syntax error. That's simple. So let me show you um, this token table. Okay, so this is a lookup table uh, for the Commodore 64 basic commands. And as you can see, we are starting at uh, hex value 80. Uh, and that hex value 80 is the first uh, number that has uh, most significant bit i. And that's 128 in decimal. So, and it goes all the way to CB in hex. Right, and one exception is pi that is uh, at the position ff. So what this means, a little side note here, is that uh, we have some available space between 255 and 203, uh, to be exact, uh, 52 tokens that are not in this lookup table. Um, and I would like to think that this is uh, this one is Commodore fault uh, because this is how we can this is what we can use to extend our basic with some new commands. This is how the Simon Basic works. They use those uh, free available tokens to add new commands in Commodore Basic 2.0. Unfortunately, our um, 
our byte cc uh, is not here in this um, lookup table and uh, once list routine tries to locate that command it fails and it prints out the syntax error so one small demonstration we are going to uh, repeat all of that and we are going to change that cc to cb and we will try to see what will, what will happen okay now we are back into super monitor and uh, we can see our um, cc uh, byte here and we can see a, a shift l uh, character so let's change this from cc to cb we know the cb exists in this lookup table cb okay let's get out of this uh, monitor and try to list the code see he thinks that this, this is a token and it goes to lookup table courses to this go command and prints it out on the screen nice so at the beginning of this video i said that this uh, bug this exploit can be used uh, on, in several ways uh, of course one way is to hide your basic code from the viewer that's the one way to go uh, the other way is just the opposite instead of um, pointing at the unexisting tokens you actually point to existing tokens and do a little bit of magic so you can write uh, riddles using the ram statements ram commands right and how can you do that uh, there is excellent video um, made by um, redbox commodore computer museum uh, so i will link to, to uh, his video and um, you can see um, he explains that in details and creates the stories and riddles and show you how that uh, works the only thing that i'm going to show you is um so the concept behind uh, how to write riddles using a ram statement is uh, is this so if we have a um, ram command and then we place uh, shift k and then we press return now if we list this and it will be converted to go command so the way that we can change this uh, to be a little bit more clever is to add uh, quotation marks here and then we enter this sign okay press return now let's list that one more time oh look at that we didn't tokenize that so one more thing in this uh, list uh, routine is that once it hits the quotation mark everything after that in that until the quotation marks you know, either close or the end of the line uh, is treated as it is so it won't be tokenized so this is the way that you can have a riddle and the answer inside of your basic code and the ones uh, once you want to know the answer let me just try one more thing so shift e shift k okay and release that okay so let's say that this is the answer to our riddle and if we want to reveal our answer we just remove the quotation marks press return and then we list here you go let go so of course you have to uh, combine the answer to the riddles from the <laughs> basic commands <laughs> but you know this is it so this is the short little video uh, like i promised so this is all for today thank you for watching and goodbye